Yeah. I'm feeling these emotions. I don't understand why I'm feeling these emotions. Yeah, and it's like I'm trying to find my way in this world of gray. In this EP, we want to show that we're like Christians without having to say it. Yeah, I like that. Why don't we like search from the concept of be content with where you're at? Yeah. And like, don't discount that and don't always be like, oh, well, once I get here, I'll be happy. Once I get here, I'll be happy later. Why not like focus on what we're at? Look at that boy Roy there. Very dangerous on the mic. Very dangerous. Jerry Lefoy. What's up, bro? What's up, man? How you doing? Good, bro. It's good to see you. What's up, dog? Let's go. <laughs> Hello, Depression. Kind of like the start of the song was, I guess, in my parents' van going up to my grandma's house for Christmas. When I was making it, I was thinking of making it like as a Jerry Fisherman release, and it was going to be uh, my friend Sophia on it. When I got home and I started writing the hook, I don't know, I said the words like, Hello, Depression. I had like the melody with it and then it just like wrote itself from there like that entire hook that entire like pre-chorus it just it all like flowed so well and I'm, i literally hit her back and i was like hey uh i'm keeping this one <laughs> the song what it means to me i guess it's just like my my own story with depression i've had it for like the past seven ish years the weirdest thing is like i never really knew it i'm a christian so like i always have like that perspective of like oh you just need to pray more you just need to read your bible more give it to god and let all your problems be solved or whatever i'd always tell myself like truths that are in the bible so i was able to manage it but this past winter i guess i went to a psychiatrist and i took a, a, a test yeah you test positive on everything it was just weird for me to learn oh you actually have depression like this song is really just me realizing like now i gotta get rid of you hey guys so it is tuesday january 7th christian's still sleeping but i'm going to get started at 12 we're having silas come over which is going to be really cool he's going to help us song write. i think tomorrow we're having charles infamous come over so that's going to be pretty cool too stay tuned time to make some music no, it's not. <laughs> i wrote the song already by the way let's go man we vlogging up in 2020. Yo, Christian, where are we going right now? Sheets. Some gas station food place that you swear is not as good as Wawa's, and I'm, I'm telling you, it has to be. Chicken, bacon, ranch, snack wraps. Yeah. Let's go. How was your sheets? Where's the bag? It was better than I expected. What'd you get? Chicken, bacon wrap or whatever. Chicken, bacon, snack wraps? Yeah. Yeah, you did. My name is Isaac Gutierrez. I go by IRG and I make indie pop music. I started my music career, I'd say at the end of 2017. At the end of 2017 is when I bought all my music equipment and then it sat for a while. And then I started in 2018 to actually make music because I didn't want my money to go to waste. From a musical inspiration standpoint, my three big, biggest inspirations were Black Bear, Jeremy Sucker, this is hard. Um, I'd probably say Nav. I think they really helped cultivate my sound. I always just grew up like just writing poetry and just loved writing songs and lyrics and I was never really musically inclined with like playing instruments and stuff but I always just listened to music and just loved music. All my family was around it and my, my dad plays stuff, my brother plays stuff, my mom is an incredible singer. Honestly just my faith in God. It sounds kind of cheesy but <laughs> that's a huge influence on my music. I met Christian through Instagram about a year ago. I was just looking through Instagram profiles and stuff like that and it came up suggested and I saw that he was musically inclined. So I just reached out and I was like, hey, like I would love your opinion on this. I'm trying to fix these, uh, this piano, so if you could uh, just give me your input, I see that you play. And then just went from there. So we just uh, became friends and we started uh, just communicating back and forth, sending each other songs. He decided to come down like a couple months ago and uh, from or come up from South Carolina to PA and we just uh, started working on this EP together. And I met Zach through Christian because they're both from South Carolina. So I've known about Zach for about a couple months now. Finally got him to come up with Christian this time around. I think this EP is so special because like this is the only project that I've worked on where so many people are involved. Like there's at least I'd say 15 different people who have like given input and added musically to this project. That's definitely the biggest difference in what makes this special. We're not just talking about superficial stuff. It's all it's great to be in the pop scene and, and talk about girls and whatever stuff like that, but when you can really talk about stuff that matters and things that 
truly resonates with people, I think you create something special. And that's what we're going for. I never really got into that because like mostly my sound has been like kind of singer-songwriter esque. Yeah. Yeah. So like I never really needed like the, the stuff from Ableton. Nice to meet you. Good to meet you. It's Christian, that's Silas. Yeah. And Basically it's like what say I think something. Is nonsense. Yeah, and it's like my friends say like you just do that, like actually talk about something. So I'm like say something real and still do it. Correct me if I'm wrong question of like going one through six. One is like I realize like this is what I have right now, this is what I'm going through. Number two is talking about all the obstacles that comes with that depression specifically, like little day-to-day -day things. Number three, more so like questioning, okay, is this like what's going to be my life? There's so much uncertainty. Am I going to keep going through this the rest of my life? Number four, like you turn to God, you turn to scripture, you realize there's a reason that God's allowing me to feel this right now. It's obviously for his like bigger mission, his bigger purpose. Number five is like, how can I serve him and glorify him with the gifts and talents that he's given me personally? You don't have to be Chris Tomlin to glorify God through music. We have to base our verses and everything around that. The sixth song is purpose. I know what I need to do, but also like hinting at like I found my purpose. It progressively like goes into a new vibe. That's why I put the outro of like staying up till 3 a.m. Adderall's kicking in. Uh, That's the vision I have. Congratulate me like posted because I got that vibrato. You know you made it. <laughs> People stop you with pictures. So releasing this on my birthday and she sent me a voicemail on my last birthday singing my song Pick Up The Phone. We're gonna put that in there and, like, it's gonna, and she says happy birthday in it. That's gonna be like the outro for the EP. The first uh, sample on the EP is my mom saying like, hey, just call and see how you're doing. Making sure you're still alive. You yeah, know? We're gonna put that on, <laughs> on Hello Depression. Yeah. That, that's so dope. How's your daughter doing? Oh, she's great. Yeah. She's one. She's gonna be one next month. Dude, that's awesome. Yeah, she's cool. Yeah, you know, this young man here has his whole life started, man. Has his wife, has his daughter. Yeah. Oh yep. Got it all figured out. <laughs> Not really, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I want you to take it. Bridge here. That mm. whole bridge. I love that bridge. It's so. Like in the verses, I'm gonna talk about like you control my actions and you choose all my words. A kind of feeling that up to this point you had kind of suppressed it and put on a face, basically. And yeah. You're just kind of acknowledging it, like this is who it is, and we're not just gonna put on that face anymore. Thanks for the inspiration. I'd rather be left alone. You overstay your welcome. My head is no longer your home. You were a great pretender I thought you were part of me But now I see That you're not even reality And so, this is hello Cause you were here and I didn't know But at the same time This is goodbye I went like over to the side so I don't feel like it's mad rapper enough. Like pissed off rapper from so there's a chance that I'm a rapper. Every pun's intended, I'm a G in this. Okay. Um. Let's see if this works. I'm sorry. No, you're good. What if we just had like a one, like four, like two bar loop or something that always resolved on the C sharp? Boom. Is that gonna clash with the sample? Yeah, I guess that's, it depends on what kind of vibe. If you want like a happier, if you want it to end on the C sharp. I apparently, you're saying you want a sadder vibe or like a more angry vibe. If you want, I want like a pissed off rapper, but I still want it to fit with that sample. I mean, I, it'll fit with the sample. The sample's not really changing. It's more of a leading sample than a chordal sample. Gosh, you want it happier? It can end on the E. Or, I mean, kind of revolve around the E, uh, like a darker, sadder kind of tone. I don't know, around the C sharp. I think we should field. we should focus more on the C sharp then. What's the what's like the most angry sounding chord in that? Would that be like the two or the three that would be the most pissed off? I'm not getting that kind of vibe from this though. It'll be the six. It'll be the six. Probably most angry. You don't want to like you don't want to build a riff off of like the two or three. True. Cause that's weird. All right. 
Let's try just like C C sharp minor. Right. That was a C sharp minor. Don't me. worry about the E. So there's a chance that I'm a rapper. Every time. I'm gonna make a song about snow. So I gotta write the pre chorus and I gotta write the chorus for this. Panic attacks for no reason, it gets worse in the snowy season. I like that. Panic attacks for no reason, it gets worse in the snowy season. What you gonna do? I hope that we were made to be your masterpiece. We are heading to Philly. Oh shoot! Teasers. We give up our track. That's a little sneak peek at one of Christian's nice Dude, the little track, beats. It's all gonna be out by the time they see this. Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> we're going to go see Ian in Philly right now. Say woo! It's too early for me to. We will see you guys later. in his natural habitat walking through Chinatown and Philadelphia it's quite beautiful just in nature it's an Ian just get the back of his head his natural habitat hiding from a camera chicken bacon ranch snack wraps chicken bacon ranch snack wraps Mama is so much better something about gas station food it's not a gas station food second song is called It Gets To Me. It was basically already done. Like Isaac's just going through all these beats. He's like, hey, just, let's just decide which ones we want to use. Good morning, America. Today, we're grinding. We're working on song five. Song five. Let's get it. What is that? The snare. I just pitched it down a crap load. I like that. That's it. All right, so like. I'm on a plane in Pennsylvania. What about like it's pronounced I R G or something? That would fit in there. Do you want to say it like softer or do you want to like scream it? But you're mad, dude. It's I R G. Yeah, how's that sound about? Gonna line it up, dude. It's I R G. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's awesome. Dude, it's I R G. Yeah. <laughs> That's freaking amazing. Call me by the right name, dude. <laughs> Yo, it's IRG. You're gonna insult me? At least it's the right name. <laughs> okay, I like dot IRG, because you're you're very like specific about that and irritating. <laughs> Sheets is better. Chicken bacon ranch snack wraps. All good. 
Dyer G is Wallows and Isaac is Sheets. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Disregard everything he just said. Nice to meet you. That's Christian, man. Nice to meet you, Christian. This is the famous room, man. Yeah, this is the room right here, man. Oh, you use JBLs too? Yes, sir, man. So, like, the, the verse on there is like, so there's a chance that I'm a rapper, every pun's intended. I'm a G and this is easy. If I said it, then I'm in it. Yeah, I run it, call that logo. Spread or repeal, got the Kodak for the photos, GoPro for the promos. Seems like every time I speak my mind, someone gets offended. The judge gave me bars for life, but I never served the sentence. The pen is sharper than the sword, boom, you write all the ones more. Fortunately, I'm between a Tyler Joseph and a Billy Graham. Um, I make moves in real life, not just on the gram. Working so the day that my dad says that I'm the man. Something like that. Okay. Where that stuff? Yeah. So, yeah, you got this the, one. Uh, the Charlie approval from on the rat. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> All right. So, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Y'all watch me. Fire. I'm trying to move it from here. I'm trying to paint a piece of paint that's ending. Facts are facts for your opinion. We're changing now. Now I'm changing right there. Music for the chosen. My purpose is to bring joy to the broken. Yeah, living off what was spoken. I made this back in the garage band a while ago. Like, when, before I even like thought about making music, I was just like, that was a good try. I wish you had the stems because I would have made it into an actual beat instead of like making a stupid little vibe right here. <laughs> Just trying to tell a story here. We just realize that like there's a problem at first. Like just like just acknowledging that there is like that depression's a thing. We have this this talent. We have this vision. Now we know our purpose. So like we're gonna like you know what I mean and like execute like how we can get from here and how we can use this thing that's like so kind of like viewed in our society as like a problem. But like how can we use it to our advantage? Uh, it's wild to me that y'all like put this on stream after implementing your concepts. Yeah, man. So that's kind of where we're at right now. That's why I was like, we, we, me and Christian were talking about, it's like, if, if you're gonna come up here and do this, and we're gonna like, we're gonna work on this, we gotta like, we gotta make Explain, it count. Yeah, we, gotta yeah. make it, we gotta make it count. Like, we gotta, we gotta come up with something that's just like, I think, just, yeah, I need to like start doing this. Like writing it down? I, I literally just bought a board. Yeah, I bought a board too, but I didn't plan it out. Which, yeah, you know what I mean? God just felt it. And like, it, it just fell let, together the way it did. Yeah, it led but the way it I feel like I need to start doing it. Right, it would help me out a little more. Hi, <laughs> my name is Zach Hanna. First started getting into music beginning of middle school. I started out in band, I played trumpet. Yeah, it kind of just grew from there. More of like a love for everything around me, not necessarily what I was doing. I enjoyed playing trumpet, but I was more curious in like, what was percussion section doing? What was low brass doing? So that's kind of where I got the mindset for production from like incorporating other instruments. I sit here, they they yell at me, hey, don't do this, don't do that. I'm like, okay, that's how it works. <laughs> it's been really, really fun, really good. A lot of connections. Isaac's great, great guy. He's not glaring at me while we say that. <laughs> He's not making me say it. We had a mutual friend, Christian. So Christian started working with Isaac about a year ago. And so I always known of Isaac, but then Christian invited me on this trip. He wanted me to help out with this. That's, that's why I'm here. The third song is called Panic Attacks. Like it all started out with, it was like the day after Christmas, Zach was finally back in town for like the first time in four or five months. Like it was the first time I've seen him since the 21 Pilots concert back in like October. Being in my room, having my company ended up just starting a beat from scratch and he just walks up, plays this lead line on the piano and then he goes down into like a F major seven. He just like rides on that, for like 30 bars. And I'm like, wait a second, like that might actually be doable. And then we just started like building from there. <laughs> Dude, like, I didn't sign up with Josh Wentz. No, just <laughs> Josh Wentz. Chris, aka Macario. Yeah. Just here to support. <laughs> Hang out. I'm, I'm Bye out. LBC Bye grad out. right there. LBC, LBC grad. grad. LBC soon to be grad. Uh, these guys don't go to college. And <laughs> 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 My man likes the EP. This is a Christian. This is a Christian EP, but it's like not Christian. It's from like it's a secular. See, which is cool though. It's like, from a secular yeah. standpoint. I, I probably told. Maybe we talked about it like the first time we like texted or whatever. I think so. I don't know. But like all my props were just like, yo, if you guys want to do music for music's sake, 
do it. Like, and honor God through it, or whatever, but like, I just feel like so many Christians make subpar music. You will glorify God as long as you're making him the center of it. You don't have, exactly. to, you don't have to be Chris Tomlin. God will like, everybody likes Chris honor Tomlin. you and make you I success, successful in your own way. <laughs> I'm gonna make music for me, and like, I'm like, my reason because I want to get famous, I want to get this, I want to get that. Yeah. It's like, like it's not even, it's just rooted in the wrong things. Like, because even though I'm not talking about like God per se, like in a like a straight go to the cross type thing, in my own metaphorical way I am. There's like a level of, of like care that you actually like hear through the music. Like, yeah. Beyond like the words. Exactly. Exactly. That's cool. Hello Depression. Let, let's let's add that spot in. We wanted to add a little. Can we can we add a panic attack source just because I know <laughs> what to yeah. do? I think some notes should be like full blown vibrato. Okay. You want to like tail it like right at the end of the yeah, note? Yeah, yeah. Kind of like. Kinda Said something to Katie, I'm like, I had no idea he did music. She's like, oh, you guys gotta like meet up or something like that. And then she like put us in a group chat yeah. or whatever and yeah. then left the group chat. <laughs> <laughs> and I, was like, I was just like, what's up, bro? He's like, yeah, yeah, did music. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, as soon as he opened the door, what, an hour and a half ago was the first time. Wow, Actually, that's yeah. really cool. Yeah. 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 And here we are. Yeah, man. Making music, baby. <laughs> keep going, keep going. <laughs> and then like people like Josh shows up. Or, oh, bro, stop. <laughs> or, Josh, sho jo or Josh shows up or Christian shows bro, up. Stop. I feel that. Yeah, and then I'm just like, whatever you want to do, man, I'm cool with it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. All right, we're recording. started that one last. The funny thing about this track is, so I was like walking out of the airport, got into the car, and like one of the first things I told Isaac is like on this EP, I want a part where I just like rip a verse. I just want to rap. Like you have everything you need to be happy. Where you are, you can hold on to God and you can get out of this situation. You already have what you need. Feel the way you want to feel. You just have to make the right choices to get there. Christian, who is your greatest inspiration? Bro, one time when I was younger, we were in the mountains, and there was like this giant drop off where you could just overlook. And my dad, my mom like walked away. He's like, "Don't tell your mom." And he like picked me up and like held me over, and he like. <laughs> On your left. <laughs> Hey, he got the reference. I ask for everything, but give nothing. 
nothing back When will you see that I'm bad for you? Don't know why you hear or what you see in me I know you can do better, why keep holding on? I ask what we might, might, might be able to do is Thursday morning, like, there's a thing called Shady Maple. That's for, like, it opens, like, at 6 in the morning. And it's, like, buffet breakfast, and it's insane. Oh, let's do that. We're good. That's cool. Wait, it's open until 6 in the morning? Or no, no, no. It's open, it's, it, like, opens up, like, 5.30 or 6 in the morning. So, at least we... We can get there and then I can take you to the airport right after. Is that in Philly? Or near it? it? It's on the way to Philly. Alright. Is my... What we, time do you have to be at? Our airport. flight's at 9.15 and I don't know what Philly's uh, TSA is like. So... I don't know. So if you... If we got to Philly by like 8 o'clock, would that be bad? We can get to the airport by 8 o'clock and we'll be good. Yeah, I think we'll, we can get to the airport by 8, probably. Let me double check, up. Ian's in the house. Turn your headphones up. <coughs> What's good, man? Excited? How you doing? Where are you? We're just recording. Yeah. Saw so you at the game cool. the other day. Oh, really? You were yeah. there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. I was just chilling. Nice. And I was like, Ian, yeah. uh, you're gone. <laughs> oh, man. If I had known you there, I would have said hi. I forgot you guys met last time. Yeah. We're just talking about the cartoons, man. Bro, those are all the ones we went through. You can so hear it in the mic here. Oh, really? Like that? So you did all the, uh... We're, we're like... All the marbles? Yeah. Oh, yeah. NS1. It'll clean it. Trust me. Okay. We're gonna interview you guys. Interview? Yeah. I look a mess. Real quick <laughs> Is this where Isaac got his talent? Well, he... He plays various instruments. And he sings, too. Especially the love songs. Um, I've seen like like real dedication, you know, when it comes to music. I mean, when it comes to a lot of things, but especially the music. Like, it's something that I thought um, he started it, but I didn't think he was gonna like really continue for as long as he did. And um, he he has really shown true dedication, and he loves it. And I think he's you know pretty talented. So that's what makes him happy. I encourage him to do what makes him happy. While Isaac was growing up, did you ever think he was going to be famous? That, that thought ever crossed the mind? No, I never thought that. Um, I mean, he's always been, I think, pretty social, but I think he was pretty shy for many, many years. So I, I never would have seen him like trying to do music and stuff like that and reaching out to people like that. We asked him what he you know, wanted to do or what he wanted to be when he grows up and he said he wanted to be a dinosaur. I guess the only issue I have is that he hasn't written a song and dedicated it to me yet. I mean, you're on one of them now. Did you know that he has a half English, half Spanish song on the album? Yes. I was listening to it today when trying to look something up on the computer. So yeah, I was, I was listening to it. I was like, oh wow, okay. Um, so what was Isaac like as a kid? Isaac would always instigate, and then when Jesse would retaliate, then Isaac would, you know, come running to me or complaining to me. He was, like I said, he was pretty shy. I remember one time in school, when, I think he was in kindergarten or first grade. And um, he became friends with this um, guy named Travis, Travis Drum, um, really nice kid. And uh, he used to come to the house all the time. And Isaac, there was some kid trying to bully Isaac in class. And during recess, uh, Travis <laughs> went and beat up the kid for Isaac. And Travis got in trouble and everything, and not once did he mention to the teacher why, you know, why he did it. And Isaac never said a word. Yeah, we're in the middle of an interview, Zach. I am so sorry. You're interrupting me? I am so sorry. Puppy break. Puppy break. Puppy break. Puppy break. Is this, is this sniffing your neck? Is that going to be an like, oh, There's a third one. Yes. <laughs> All the puppies. Back to work. Oh, 
<laughs> no, you got scared. <laughs> My man, that's a real man right there. <laughs> I want to do something cool with all these impact vocals. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, I know you could do something cool with the best ones. Golden into the pave. <laughs> oh, that's so loud. So I, I think that I. Um, could. basically, the main uh, ad lib is gonna be a, something I'm gonna affect a lot. And just, I'ma do this till all the streets are golden until the pay. <sighs> it's gonna be like a yeah, like bang. I love that, but I also hate it at the same time because when I'm in my car driving and mm -hmm. people put that in their music, <laughs> you get scared. It, it gets me scared. Like, like, is there like an ambulance coming? Is there a cop <laughs> behind me or something? I get scared. That's why. Would, would you be okay with it in there? Oh yeah, it's fire. Okay. But like when like people put it in their car and I'm listening, I'm like, oh shoot. But we're uh, we just take a little break and then we're um we're gonna get back at it in the next ten Word. minutes. Word. Yeah, bro. I definitely want to hear it. You yeah. guys finished it, right? People share their struggles and we make them into memes. Yeah. We only post the best because when I happy as we seem. Living in the world is nicotine addicted. Politically vindictive. Identity conflicted. Honesty dismissive. We in the fashion industry. Prolific social epidemic. This focused on the image. And no one seems to care except these. Panic attacks for no reason. It gets worse in the snowy season. So uncertain with my feelings. So Lord, tell me there's a reason Panic attacks for no reason It gets worse in the snowy season So uncertain with my feelings Oh Lord, tell me there's a reason You yeah, <laughs> So what did you think about the songs that they just played? I think production value is crazy throughout the whole thing Like some of the vocal mixing too Like towards the end, the transitions into each song is like that's so wild. Like, yeah. That's what I want on, on my projects. In a pencil thing, I couldn't get no sleep. I think that this might be a dream. Cause Isaac's on the beat. City views like Red Pagodas. We grinding for the streams. I need the money for some more caffeine. I got more beats than Dwight Schrute. Your songs are great, that's just rude. You write by girls, that's so you. Say something real, that's total. Hey, hey. Josh, I'm gonna FaceTime you all the time, bro. You don't even know it yet. Dibs on the side of the car. Ooh, 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 ooh. You, want, you want to get him first so you can go over? Oh. <laughs> I'm just gonna do the two for four deal. Sausage, egg, and cheese McMuffin. Uh, the sausage, egg, egg and cheese McMuffin. Thank you. Lucky. Lucky. Lucky, buddy. Right, this one's you, Isaac. Thanks. The rest of these are the same. There you go. Zachary, do you want one? Check up on the gram, I'm just scrolling through these pictures Hopped into the comments, everyone is so malicious People share their struggles and we make them into memes We only post the best cause when I happy as we seem Living in the world is nicotine addicted Politically vindictive, identity conflicted Honesty dismissive, we in the fashion industry Prolific social epidemic, this focused on the image And no one seems to care except these Panic attacks for no reason It gets worse in the snowy Season. So uncertain with my feelings Oh Lord, tell me there's a reason Panic attacks for no reason It gets worse in the snowy season So uncertain with my feelings Oh Lord, tell me there's a reason You, you feel it too Y'all feel it blue What you gonna do? I hope that we were made to be your masterpiece and bring glory to you.
take apart the fake uh, Dismember your disguise You can sleep with your opinion in a bed full of lies Coming with that sort of truth And I got three, call me Zorro Merging different worlds, legend decora We're too codependent, easily offended We try to control others cause we can't control our feelings Can fix another people just seem way more repellent Than dealing with revealing what's inside when we really There's only seven on the... On the... There's only seven? You know, some, seven is the biblical number of completion. Wasn't intentional, but <laughs> <laughs> sometimes the best things aren't intentional. Oh, so sad. I miss you guys, man. Alrighty, we'll get over it. Very fast. Peace out, homies. Adios. My guy. Bye. All right, bro. What's up, brother? I'll see you later. Yeah. Right? Oh, I gotta get, get out. I gotta get out anyways. Oh, I gotta get out. Oh, yeah. I'm sitting in the front, bro. You, you want this brekkie? No. You want to be by yourself? Anyway. You want this brekkie? Oh, shoot. You gonna be a fatty? All right, bro. <laughs> oh, Christian Currents. Zach. Bro, if we forgot anything, we'll just get it next time. Right yeah. All right. Love you guys. Love you. Love you, man. I've only known you five days, I'm already saying that. <laughs> Alright, I love you. Fly safe. Shoot. Wait, did you just... <laughs> <laughs> Savage! <laughs> if you could go to the moon, or go to Mars, which would you choose and why? Venus. Why? It's different. True. <laughs> Is water wet? I mean, when I drink it, my throat's wet. Does a straw have one hole or two holes? A straw's a straw. It is what it is, and that's it. Very wise. Can you slap? I don't play instruments. <laughs> <laughs> do you break spaghetti, or do you just drop it on the end of the pot? It depends on how big of a pot I'm using. <laughs> <laughs> Where does chocolate milk actually come from? Milk. Or and chocolate. chocolate. So you're telling me if I just put a Hershey's bar in a cup of milk, what do I have? Chocolate milk. Or do I have milk chocolate? If you could film a music video for any artist, who would it be? It's that IRG, isn't it? Who's that?